Hi everybody, Damien here from Trade the Fifth. Hope you're all well. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick uh, intro and installation guide on our new BITS indicator for the Think or Swim platform. Uh, BITS standing for Breakout Intelligent Trading Signals. Um, so what will happen is you will get an email from us with a download link to the file. Uh, you'll have the bias indicator and the BITS indicator. Download them both and make sure you, you make a note of exactly where you save them. Once you've done that, go into your platform and what we want to do here is go into the beaker up here for the studies and we're going to import down here. Click import. That's why I say it's important to make sure you know where you save them. I saved mine to the desktop for, for ease of use. I'm just going to select both of these by holding control and click. Uh, if, obviously if you're using a Mac you can use command. Then we go down to open. Uh, that should have brought them in and now we just need to add the study. So we go to the search bar here, type W5T and there we have the bits and bias again holds control or command and click both of those and add the selected. All you need to do then is click apply and then OK and there you have it. And one of the things you want to keep into consideration um, is when you're doing a little bit of refinement, um, if you're running the Elliott wave and the bits indicator at the same time, uh, you may want to just uh, just remove the points of control from the bits indicator. Now, don't worry, the signals are automated whether or not the points of control are showing. So this, it won't make a big difference on that side of things. Uh, and also the other thing is the pricing bubble. So I'm just going to show you how to remove all of those. So we go back up here to the beaker and where it says uh, the bits indicator, we're just going to select the cog here for settings. Uh, first of all, to remove uh, the points of control from the chart itself, you want the EMA tabs here. So the F, M and S. And all you're going to do is you're just going to uncheck all three for those three EMA parts. And secondly, with all these um, uh, pricing bubbles, if you want to remove them as well, it's just up here, enable bits price bubbles. Just select no. And then you just click OK apply it and then just click OK. Something new you'll notice here is these lines and dots that are above or below the chart. So these are target prices. Um, what we'll do is let me just uh, increase the size of this and then we can get a closer look at these. Uh, these represent uh, different points of your risk. So obviously the first line is 50% of the risk, times risk, 100%, uh, 160% and then 200. Now you don't have to have them like that, you can change the look and feel of them if you wish. So if you come up here to the top and you click the beaker, go across the cog for settings on bits and down here you've got the long trig 50, 100, 200, 160. It's at this point that you make the changes. So for example the long trig 50 we have here uh, circles, we could change them to triangles, we could change the width to 3 if you wish and just click OK and apply it and then OK and if we go back then everything should be if we just zoom out a little bit now you can see obviously those uh, those circles have now changed to triangles okay so one final thing that I want to show you guys is uh, the bias indicator down below here now Paul will go into more detail about this in the bootcamp video uh, but just to give you a, a quick example of what it can do and how it's different because this is going to replace the MTF dot cloud um, as you can see down here I'm running off a five minute chart at the moment and you can see the time frame here is set to 30 days um, now the good thing with this now is you don't have to manually change the days every time you change the chart so if you go up here and let's go and select maybe an hours chart. It's in there, but now the number here has changed. So everything now is a lot more automatic. So that's everything I've got to show to you guys today. Um, if you have any questions, any feedback, or want to know anything more about this, please feel free to reach out to myself. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com.